step number eight. Um, I added some pants to her. I just feel weird having her in her underwear um, for all of you guys to look at. You'll probably get used to it, but I was like, why not? I'll just throw these denim on her. Um, okay, so we um, used the trace tool. Um, and now we really don't need all of these red internal lines. So we can delete them. Um, you know, how would you delete them? Try to think of like, what's the most like intuitive way you would do it or logical way. Um, I feel like if I was an illustrator, I'd probably get my black arrow and select the white pattern piece and lock it. And then, you know, and then click and drag and select like a marquee over all of them and delete them. Um, so you can't quite do that. So I don't know why I told you that, but sort of. You can select um, with the letter A, this uh, edit transform guy tool, transform pattern, and you can click it. And it's sort of misleading because it looks like all of your internal lines are selected. Um, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna choose lock. Okay, and so now if I hover over it, my internal lines actually weren't locked even though they were selected. Kind of weird, right? So I can just hit delete real quick to get rid of them. Um, I guess another longer way to delete something, maybe you only want to delete one, you can switch down to letter Z on your keyboard, which is this uh, keyboard shortcut to edit pattern. And you could select one at a time and, and you know delete it. You could right click to say delete, or you can just hit delete on your keyboard and you only have to hit it once, you don't have to hit it twice. Um, so there's that method as well. Okay, but now we have to unlock this guy. So I'm gonna right click and we'll say unlock all pattern outlines and he's back in business. I am going to give you guys a sleeve. You're not gonna to have to draft the sleeve. So I'd like to introduce you guys to the notch tool. So let's see here. You can see, I guess right here, yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I kind of like second guess myself because there's a little white arrow. Do you guys remember what I said with the white arrow? Um, that's like an edit tool. So I guess you can also edit the notch here. But anyways, kind of hover over where we want the notch and I'm gonna tell you where we want the notch because on the sleeve, the sleeve also has a notch um, one and a half inches away. So you'll find your spot. It's probably a good idea to right click it and then you can just type in one and a half. I'm gonna hit cancel because mine already has the notch. I'm gonna pan over to the back side. We're gonna do one at one and a half inch and then uh, one, um, a quarter inch away from there. So that'd be one and seven fifths inch. So seven fifths, is that a made of number? Three, four, seven, five. Okay, so yeah, so get your notches on and then I'm going to officially move to number nine. So we're gonna arrange and sew the pattern piece in this cluster. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and arrange this on our avatar. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the points. I'm going to click the front. Okay, oops. Oh, there we go. It's a little high. Maybe I'll go to the one below. Big blue dot below. Get it. Um, there we are. Okay. Maybe I'll just move it out of the way and then I'll try to go back to that other spot. There it is. I'm going to click the back. I'm going to hit the number eight. I'm going to find a blue dot. Probably this one, I'm gonna click it. Um, I'm gonna hit number four. I'm gonna look at this thing. I think it's gonna be okay. Part of me kind of wants to scoot it to the back a little bit. Oopsies. Oh, maybe I'll turn off the anchor point. Well. Okay, so now to sew it together, I'm gonna to zoom in. I like to do it on the 2D window, just a little bit easier for me. This side seam is exactly the same length, so um, I can use my segment sewing tool. So I guess I will do that. Um, so click here, just pay attention to those tabs. Um, I'm also gonna do the shoulders together. Click and watch those tabs so that your uh, stitching doesn't get twisted. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit the number two and I'm gonna, okay. So I'm gonna select these two. I'm gonna right click. We're gonna say, say symmetric pattern with sewing. I'll just line it up right next to it. Okay, cool. 
and it even copied my placement. So now I'm gonna do, let's see what's next. Okay, oh, well, now it wants us to sew our center front and our center, center back seams together. So I know we're gonna put a zipper in later and I believe the back we're gonna um, merge it together, but just for now, I'll go ahead and give it um, a seam so it stays together and we can simulate it. So there's our front. Do I need this point here? You know what? I think I want to get rid of that point. I'm just going to hit delete. There's really no need for it. Okay. Back to my sewing tool. Click. Pan over. And click. Okay, and now we can simulate. And hit spacebar. Okay, cool. So, you know, if you want to try to get it on her, so it's even, it kind of looks like for some reason it's sort of falling to her right side. So I'm just going to maybe pull it a little. I, maybe I don't have to. Maybe I'm just being too picky. Um, but the hand is there for you to kind of make sure the garment's on the right way. Are the shoulder seams in the right spot? All that good stuff. It's fine. I should move on. So our last step for this little group is to import um, the sleeve DXF file. So this is a good learning tool because you don't just want, I know before we open something, the DXF file, adding is a little bit different, okay? So that's the point <laughs> of why you're not drafting the sleeve. Um, so you're going to say import add. I think if you hit import, it might just start a brand new file and we don't want that. So say import add, it is a DXF file and go find it wherever the heck you saved it. Mine happens to be right here. Okay, scale, auto scale. I guess I'm trusting you. It does not need to be rotated. I'm just gonna go ahead and say okay to all that. There have been a couple times when I've imported something and it was saved in millimeters and I was working in inches and it imported kind of funny. So it like said it was gonna scale at like a thousand percent. So all I had to do was change it to a hundred percent. So it wasn't hard. I just just double check um, that window when it pops up, and you can usually fix it pretty easily. Um, okay, cool. So here is let's go look at our pattern. I'm gonna go in our 2D window. Okay, so I'm gonna move it. Where should I move my pattern? Okay. I think what I want to do is move this back guy over here so he can kind of hang out by the back. And then this has one notch, so that means the, the front, it gets sewn to the front on the left of the sleeve. See that? The one notches match. And the double notches, that means this half of the sleeve, it gets sewn to the back side where there's a double notch. So I think for organization, it's good to kind of place it right here. Okay, so now I have to arrange this and put this on the dress form. We've done this a few times. So maybe this part's starting to feel comfortable. Maybe instead of clicking on the vertical toggle menu, maybe you are hitting Shift F, because we're gonna be doing this a lot. I'm definitely gonna be using my keyboard shortcuts to quickly go around her. I'm gonna click that blue dot. I'm gonna hit number two. I'm just gonna maybe, go, oh, go under it. Yeah, it looks like it's wrapped around her arm. I think that's pretty good. Now it's not sewn, so I have to tell it to sew. So I definitely need to get those two seams to sew together. So I'm gonna hit our segment and hit segment, thank you. I'm gonna click the seam and this one. Okay, cool. And then now I have to sew it to the sleeve as well. So what's easiest here? I think I should probably do the M to N. I'm gonna switch to this one, do free sewing, I guess. So I'm gonna click here. Uh, actually, it doesn't it need the M to N. I could have just done the regular free sewing. Okay, I'll click right there. I'm gonna hit enter, because that's the end. And then this is gonna be sewn from here, and then all the way up to here. I'm gonna click and then hit enter one more time. Okay. And I'll do the same to the back. So I guess, you know, I'm gonna switch. I don't really need the M to N. I could do just free sewing. So I'll click here and click. And then I'm gonna, and to my back, 
Okay, and it has to be this one. And now I started at the top, but this is a little confusing. I started right here, so that means when I go to my sleeve, I also have to start at the top of the seam. If you do it wrong, it'll just be twisted, and you can always just right click and say untwist. So it's really not the end of the world if you're kind of confused about how I know to start at the top versus the bottom. See, there's my little um, tab. So in the sleeve tab, that tab should be close to the top. See it, there it is right there. Um, okay, cool. So before I simulate, I wanna copy this guy as well. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to letter A, keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna click and drag this. Um, I'm gonna right click it and we're gonna say symmetric pattern with sewing. We're gonna clone this guy. I guess I'll just throw him over here. Okay. Oh, he got far away. I don't know why he didn't <laughs> get so. Okay, for some reason, I remember a friend back, so they were placed on the avatar. But that's no big deal. I can just, um, looks like it's already selected. So now I just got to pick one of those dots, my placement points. There we are. Okay, cool. It looks good. I think I'm ready to sew. I'm going to hit number two. And I'm going to simulate just to see where we're at and if everything's looking okay. Yeah. Normally, my computer does work a lot faster. I'm wondering if it's because I have the denim pants in, most likely. All right, cool. So there we are. It's simulated, um, and that wraps up um, that group.